What's cranking, wieners? We are back on the Cape this morning. Not starting off so good. Uh, slept in a little bit. Took out somebody's truck. Complete stranger's trailer. Just hit that five seconds ago. Also launched the boat. Noticed the build was on. That's weird. All oh, the plugs not in the boat. So starting off kind of dusty and, and crusty. That's been the theme of this whole trip. It's crazy. I realized how fortunate I've been to come here in the past, like previous trips, and like absolutely smoke them because we've been here for almost like seven days now. And it's been some of the more difficult fishing, just not even like striper, but just like everything. For two days, we fished with our buddy Elliot, Axe Sharks, and we tried to go for tuna sharks, and we spent literally 30 hours up without a single wink of sleep fishing with zero results. So this has not only been a hard fishing trip, it's, more, it's also been a very difficult filming trip. And uh, we've now linked up with our buddy Robbie, what's going on, guys? who's a local here, he knows what's up. He's actually the guy that's given us a lot of our um, albacore uh, intel. And we're actually gonna try for that right now. We've got perfect wind for us. So we're gonna zoot out to one of these beaches here and see if you can find them. Also, the merch, the Camp Claw gear is still available. And if you guys wanna win a trip at Camp Claw and a $26,000 side-by-side, my personal Polaris Razor XP Pro, check the link down below. Every shirt, hat, hoodie you buy counts for a submission. But yeah, it's just a really awesome way for you guys to come to the camp, hang out with us, do some fishing, uh, flip some Can-Ams, and just, I don't know, have a good time. So. With all that aside, let's try to shake this off and catch some fish. So stick with us, stay tuned. Let's have a day. Let's go. Hey, we're making our way slowly up to uh, the point right now. There's one right there. I heard so. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't see any of these guys like for me. Like no, I don't. They don't. I don't know what the hell is going on. Well, in the inside, they're definitely going for Albie. So the nuclear must have went off. But then it doesn't seem like it's continuing because everyone stayed put. No. Uh, we can go back in. We can go back in. Back in that way. Yeah. Wow. When we saw a fish, could the start of something decent. Spot number one. Saw some flickers, saw some sign of life. Not enough to get us to stay, so we're gonna head back down the beach. It's a freaking zoo out here right now. Like this is New England fall fishing at its finest. Like it's a garage tail, boats everywhere. We're on the outside of it right now because I'd literally lose my mind if I was in the middle of all, all these dudes. Alex wanted me to tell you guys there's fog rolling well, through it now. Shut off, are you? Far back. But yeah, they are going. Shouldn't even told me that. About a hundred yards that way where my rod is. Maybe we stay around then, I don't know. The rip line just to the south of here. I picked up a bunch of algae yesterday. Uh, and I also got uh, a couple of kingfish too. Brian was still as a demon who was catching king mass and huge bluefish. Like 12, 14 pounds. Oh, yeah. so much fun. Those things are nuts. They we jump like freaking marshmallows. How did we win? <laughs> yeah. We were, experienced out the other day. we were in the pond and we were chasing the striper and like I had one come up and I was like, oh, that's a good one. That's you. Robert yeah, Robbie. Robbie. Anything that can get about five feet down right now, John. I'm just gonna f around with something on the bottom. Something. It's like a sea bass or something like that. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know what this is, dude. Striper? Bluefish? What the f do I have? Just first cast with the Yoda worm. Striper? I have no idea. It's not small, small, though. What do I have here? I don't think so. What the sh? What are we on right now? Dude, this is big. This is big, yeah. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Whatever this is, it's good. I just want to see what it is. Yeah, me too, man. I'll try my best. It's kind of unreal, dude. First cast. Unreal. 
I have no idea what I'm hooked up to right now, but we are very curious. Why'd you be like a Albi, dude? It's kind of fighting. More tank? Yeah. That would be awesome. I feel like it's, yeah, it's good. I would have pulled it up by now if it was a... Oh, bro, that was dirty. So um, I took one random cast. We're on the shore right now with the Yoda worm, which again, for the hunt of this time, not meant for saltwater fishing, but I guess today it is. And I'm hooked up to something good. It feels like very mackerely. It doesn't feel like a striper. Oh, Jesus, I just saw it. It's big. It's an Albi. It's a Albi, dude. Yeah, I got him. On the Yoda worm, bro. I'm tripping. I'm tripping right now. It's a fing Albi. It's a good one, too, bro. That's awesome. <laughs> it's all good. What the f? Just. Oh, no. All up, no that's yeah. It's definitely like one of my bigger ones I've caught. Are you fing kidding me, bro? Wow. That's crazy. That is the crazy. That, is, that might be the coolest thing I've seen all season. Hey, thanks for the assist, by the way. Absolutely. Literally one cast with the Yoda worm. And we've got the first Albi of the day. This is not how I expected to catch one of these dudes, but like, look at the size. That's a big That's bait. That's a good fish, too, dude. It's a good fish, yeah. Okay, wow, wow we've really proven that, like, line casting on a totally. First That's cast. Crazy, Very unorthodox catch. How we caught this dude was unreal. Time to send him back. Let's go, buddy. Phew, boom. <laughs> well. It's the beauty of Atlantic. You just always get surprised. Throw something for bass or bluefish or whatever and come tight to the fish we were after. First time I ever caught an Albi on soft plastic, basically on the bottom. That was stupid. This is not just the coolest thing ever. Like this fog rolled in out of nowhere when we first pulled up. We had 100% visibility, flat calm, and then the New England vibes just came in all at once. We got our Albi. That's good. We didn't get it in the most orthodox way, but it still counts. So we were one. Technically, we were one for one for the Albi, which is just so weird to think because we actually never really made a cast at busting fish. Anyway, we're going to switch up gears. I've yet to catch a, uh, those, yeah, those are going to make it. I've yet to catch a Albi and a Striper in the same day, at least to my knowledge. So we're going to try to knock off those two epic New England species and we might get lucky and catch a bluefish. That would mean we catch three pretty awesome species here in, in New England. And I can't even see what's in front of me. This is just so weird. No, I'm just gonna try it out. I, don't know, I think we need to go on the other side. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of this. This is all like a foot. Oh, yeah, yep. Yep, big one. Good one. Yeah, here we go. That was, that was cool. Dude, there's a little, there's that little creek back there. This is the same thing that happened last year, bro. Get one in there, there's probably more. That was pretty cool, eh? There's gotta be more in there. Here, let's move that, get to the front, I'm gonna play with this guy. Not a bad one. We'll take it. Good first striper of the day. Ooh, very green. Like literally green. Look at that, he's like almost yellow. Probably from hanging around there in the in the grass. There we go. Nice healthy one. This is the spot where I caught my biggest striper last year, like exact same zone, and uh, through the exact same lure that I caught that 32 last year on. And voila, we have another one. We've got one Albi and one striper. Not a bad one too, like low 20s, and it's on top water. You can't beat that. See you, buddy. Phew. Weirdest damn thing. That pond we just got out of where I caught that one striper, it's dead. Two days ago, it was on fire. Absolutely smoking hot. We're back on the Albies. So we're just gonna see if we can maybe squeak out one more one more bite. There's like no one on this beach now. There was like at least 100 people. It was a full on garage. So now there's like four or one of them. Let's see what happens. If we don't catch one, then whatever. If we do, then hell yeah. Bro. 
Bobby. Dude, that was like the same hit too, so whatever it was. How's it feel? Pretty solid. It's giving head chase. Looks like a sea bass. It is a sea bass. No way. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Decent. Yeah. Pulling it four knots. Catching sea bass. Two or one. On a Yozer. <laughs> that, uh. It's not. That, that doesn't look anything like a Spanish, but Jesus. that is three species now. Colors are pretty crazy on these things. Dude, I got excited. Thought that was a king. Very questionable whether they were albies or not, and then we got right on right on top of them, and it's like, oh, that, that's them. Oh, up in front, uh, 12, uh, well, that's one. One o'clock. Just saw them come up again. Yeah, right there, right there. On top of it, literally on top of it. Dude, they're acting funky. I legitimately got that right in there. Right in there. There. Oh, yeah, there they are. There they are. Oh, yeah. Albies. Albies. 100%. 100%. A little bit farther. Right there, right in front of me. Stop, stop, stop. Huh. Dude, I'm like getting the most perfect cast I think I've ever got in my entire life, and I can't get, I can't get hooked up. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Coming up. So interesting. We've, yeah. We've seen some different today, haven't we? They want some. Oh, I just got hit. What the? F I just got hit right there. A little tab. I felt so weird. Maybe they are blue fish. I don't know. Dude, those are big. Another one right there. Yeah, it's right out there. Another one. Yeah. Somehow we got back into the fog. We're wrapping things up here. We might try this last striper spot, but I don't, I don't know. It's been the weirdest day of fishing. We're catching albacore on bass lures and then catching black sea bass on Spanish mackerel lures. And then, yeah, it's kind of confusing. But speaking of confusing, somehow we're back in the fog and it's like, what, eight degrees, 10 degrees colder? Like right here, I'm chilly right now. So. I took my sweatshirt off and now I gotta put it back on. It's sunny over there, but it's foggy right where we're at. We're just gonna idle back in here safely and uh, put the whaler back in the trailer. I had a fairly interesting day to say the least. Right there, pretty pretty good boss. Try it. Yeah, that was a unit. Yep. Oh my god, dude, that's a good one. Decent fish. Oh, I just got hit. I'm on. There we go. Yes. I'm on. Little tiny jerk bait. Feels decent. Come on, buddy. Doubles. Doubles. Is that a striper? Yeah, a little striper. Hell yeah. Yeah. Something little. There's a little uh, strategic, pink strategic oh, in there. Still, still there. Yeah, go, go, go. Film Robbie. I got a little striper on right now. Look how he ate that. What the hell? Look at that. Is he even hooked? D He's not even hooked. Bro, this fish is not even hooked. Look at all the hooks. He's not even really hooked. Oh, he's got one hook in him, but I think he stayed on because of the fact that he's lodged. We just saw a big fish bust in here. We're literally about to take the boat out and put it on the trailer, but we saw these fish busting. So when in Rome, this is our last day in the Cape. We might as well make the most of it. On you? Yep. Yep. Let's go. Put your jerk bait right behind it. Right behind it, yeah. Yeah. He's still on it. Yeah, he's still on it. He's barely swirling it. Stop surfing. He's still on it. Oh, that was so sick! Yeah, dude. Pond stripers, just like, they can be so addicting. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god, dude. That's a decent one. 
That is a decent one. That was cool. Okay, okay. Shoot. On the bait caster. Hell yeah, buddy. Maybe. On the bait caster too. This is a freshwater setup I use for chatterbaits, so it's always a lot of fun with the little schoolies. Hey, you know what Scott calls this? What? He calls this the John B release right here. Oh, this? Yeah. <laughs> do I do that? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I love doing that with smallies. Smallies? Yeah. If they don't move. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. there On the jerk bait. Decent one. On the jerk bait. Big. Fun little schoolie though. Ooh, he mad as hell. So let me show you something kind of cool. As you know, we are testing out the Guggen Series rods on the Cape. We're testing out the gold and the green series. And the cool thing about the green series is it's got a little ruler on there. Now, normally when I'm catching stripers, I'm not measuring them, but this one's so little, I figured I'd just show you guys how this thing works. Put the nose right there. Look at that. That is a that is a whopping. What's the opposite of a slot fish? A dink. Pretty cool feature that we added with those rods. So if you guys are doing some bank angling, you forget your, you know, your scale, your ruler, something like that. Well, you can't weigh the fish with the rod, but you forget your ruler. Uh, you can see how long the fish is. It goes all the way up to 23 inches. So if you catch big bass only, you're kind of screwed, but 23 inches is pretty, pretty large and in charge. Nice. This is kind of cool. I did not expect this. I was fully ready to end the video, but biting stripers, you just can't leave, you know? Never got in a car accident, never hit anyone's car, ever in my entire life. But today was the day. Today was my lucky day. That's what happens when you stay up for 30 hours straight, fish basically seven days in a row, film seven days in a row, courtesy of Alex and Lucky. And uh, yeah. Only get three videos out Only of it? Only get three videos out of it. Like this is, you guys don't understand how hard we've worked the past week to try to make it happen. But I'm glad it worked out today. We got lucky. You know, the Cape honestly was super nice just despite the fact that it wasn't nuclear, it was still good. Um, and also, huge shout out to Robbie up, for guys? fishing with us, but also, like I said, for helping us with this whole Albie mission. We would not have caught Albies without him and his dad uh, last time we came here for Guggen Week. So it's not it's not an easy thing. You can't just pull up to an area and expect to catch Albie. Sure, you could make it happen. We made it happen, but it definitely takes uh, many years of practice and uh, perfection. But anyway, as much as I love to keep filming, I am Goose. We're gonna get some food. We're gonna head back up to Camp Claw. We appreciate the view. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. <laughs>